So what you're gonna need is some um, peroxide. I only have 40 volume, so it's just don't have to do me. Um, obviously the bleach. Doesn't really matter which bleach you use, but um, I like the blue one, the white one's okay. Um, really and truly it's up to you to each their own. But obviously you need bleach powder, peroxide. You're gonna need your little, um, I don't even know what this is called, but you know that thing, the mixer bowl thing? You're gonna need one of these um, paintbrush things. And finally, you're gonna need some foil to cover it afterwards to help the process go quickly. My ratio, well, it's not really a ratio, it's more like um, an S estimated two to one. Obviously, I don't really measure my um, peroxide, so I can never really 100% tell. But I'm sure you've heard that you need to have it as like a cream-like consistency. So I usually, I have this little measuring thing, and I usually do it about three quarters full. Just dump it in there. And then what I tend to do is do enough that like it covers the bottom of the bowl um, comfortably, you know? Because you don't want to put so much peroxide that there's not enough bleach, right? because you don't want it to be too liquidy. You also need to put enough peroxide that the, the bleach powder isn't um, overpowering. So that's how much bleach we've got in. And now the peroxide, you need to do it in, like, in parts, basically. Um, so that's not gonna be enough. But what I do is I pour it and then I mix it. Oh, by the way, you're going to need gloves, preferably for both hands, but like, I just don't care, <laughs> so... So that is obviously like incre incredibly thick. So we're going to add some more peroxide. Okay, so this is the consistency you're going for. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, but you're just gonna get the mixture and just literally paint it on so lightly. It will literally just come off the, the little paintbrush. You can use a knife for this, you can use a spoon, you can use um, like little wooden um, popsicle stick. That's what you've got. So you literally just paint it on. Yes, be really careful not to like get the bleach on the other side. that if you do get bleach on the hair just to wipe it off because you don't want the actual hair bleaching we only want the knots to be bleached Grab your foil. I just get mine from Tesco, it's like one pound fifty. Like grab a bit that's long enough to go from to go here to go here. Again, 
again, because this isn't on my desk, it's a bit awkward. I'm gonna have to put it on the floor to show you. I'll just take that off. Let me give you guys a look. We're gonna set our timer for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. The timer just went off and all you're gonna need to do is just check to see how the knots are doing. This is not lifted. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna set it in for another 20 minutes. Usually when I bleach my um, frontals, I do leave them on for about 40 to 45 minutes because that's usually how long it takes, but obviously you need to check it every so often, so maybe every 10 minutes, every 20 minutes, every 15 minutes. But I like to do 20 minutes because I know they just take a bit of time, especially AliExpress bundles and frontals. So, yeah, this is going to need another 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. I can say that the knots are not there, not quite there yet, the knots. <laughs> Pardon the pun. <laughs> um, they're not quite bleached to perfection like I like them to be. Just give them another 10 minutes. So 20 minutes would be overboard. 10 minutes should be perfectly fine. Several bad puns later. And yeah, I mean, they could go for another maybe about 10 minutes, but I don't want to overdo it. It should be fine. So I'm going to go and wash this out and I'll be back. So this is the finished look. Looks a bit brassy, but we will tone and we will tint, so it's fine. So yeah, this is what your notch should look like, pretty much. After they've been um, bleached. 